So here we are, Orison, in our little apartment building. It is daytime. Um, all the, the leaves nicely twitching out the windows, a nice touch. You've got the sky as well, all looking fantastic. That city in the clouds, how, how best in city is this? Now, let's get out of bed, Waikiki. I did have some problems. I had to delete my user folder uh, in my installation directory. As, as they say, I've taken the um, resolution down to 1440p as opposed to um, 4K. And I get a better, smoother experience uh, for this. I mean, the floor is nice. Reflections are good. You know, lots of nice little touches. The lights around the plant, which I think is great. We should have those over here. Uh, again, we've got the toilet, uh, the shower attachment seems to be missing from that. But same sort of configuration as before. Um, hey, you know, it is it is what it is. It is the toilet. Uh, let's just click on that. That's an open. Should be a, there we go. Uh, and with that, we've got all our shower stuff, toilet roll and toilet. Now in this apartment, what we've got is a couple of little cubby holes and storage. You've got your handy storage. You can open all this storage as well by, by coming close to it. There's a fridge. There's fridges everywhere. There's a fridge there. Um, over there, we've got a fridge under the cooker. Why you'd have one there or not, I don't know. Um, lots of things you can, you can open. Lots of drawers. Don't serve any purpose. But again, it's the attention to detail that we've, co we've come to sort of like appreciate from RSI. Uh, another good little feature over here is the light switch. Save some power, save the environment, even in the future. And turn off your lights. Here it is. Click on the button. And the lights are then turned off. And you get that nice sort of like um, power saving mode in the, in the room. But enough of the room. Let's get out and see Orison for ourselves. And it really is a visual treat. As soon as you step out your door, you think, oh, wow, it's a bit posh, isn't it? It's a bit posher than some of the other toilets you <laughs> you could say you're in. You've got a nice observation deck here where you can view down and have a look at some of the gardens. You've got all the barges moving across. Good reflections on the windows and I mean I'm doing this video as well in in 2k so what I'm seeing you should be seeing on the video so we've got all these lovely plants glass covered plants all very trendy wendy and these sort of lobby seating areas on each floor where they seem to be obsessed by rocks but I suppose if you're a floating city you're gonna be obsessed by rocks as well so let's get into the into the lift, the elevator. Call the elevator. Elevator has been called. Nice place to be. Green circle, habitation, Orison. Now you can go to the roof as well, right? So up here, roof. And you can go to your rooftop garden, sort of contemplation area, um, so to speak. This guy is always here. Whether he's, I don't know, pondering, throwing himself off or not, I don't know. I mean, he's sat there, you know, I mean. He's got that look. I mean, the graphics on the faces, I think, are brilliant. A little bit lifeless round the eyes. Then again, after a heavy night on the beer... Aren't we all? Um, having a look around. Nice gardens, plants. You can sit on the bench. Should you want to. There we are. Um, let's take a bit of a, an F4. And a good old zoom around using the panoramic camera. You know, it is... It is a nice place to be. Here he comes. What's what? What's he want? Oh, I. 
I'm not that sort of guy, you know. You know what I'm saying? Anyway. Up, up, and away. <clears throat> a good place to be. This is the sort of like imperial, very sort of opulent sort of aspect of things as well. I've got flags fluttering in the distance. Um, going back into first person mode. You've got little little barriers to stop you throwing yourself right off off the side, should you want to, but I suppose if you really did, then then you could. Let's get back into the lift. And there's a nice little feature as well. I mean, all those um, cherry tree petals, which are falling down, and I've got these in my garden. Um, they're a right pain, look lovely. Uh, but once a year, you're out there with the broom uh, to sweep them up. And yeah, they do accumulate in certain areas, which I think is a good feature. It's not, it's not as sterile as you'd expect it to be. It's clean, it's, it's swish, it's not sterile. So I like that. Right, back in the lift, or the elevator. Okay, here we go. And then down to the lobby. Here we go. And here we are, we're here. Some Herbert. We've got exits to the side which take you outside um, of this apartment building. Exits at the front and rear of the building um, to go out and you can see here is the outside but we'll get to that in a minute. As you can see it's quite smooth as it's running. Um, on my screen, I'll pull up my frames per second. I'm not getting too many frames per second, but it's better than what I was getting in 4K. Um, I'm getting about 30 frames per second, which is not bad when you consider the level of detail and reflection on you, as opposed to other games. Uh, on the ground floor, you know, you've got Elroy's bar. Now, I had a few problems with this before, with the game sort of like stuttering and hanging when I came over here, but you can buy your food from your vendor. Uh, you know, quick buy, quick buy that apple. Purchase. You know, make sure you gotta keep, gotta keep hydrated. You gotta keep, you know, also you gotta keep, you know, your your stamina up as well. So important to keep continuing with the food. People milling around, going about their everyday business in the bars. Away you go, and of course you've got reception over here with this. Hi, welcome. It's a lady. Um, nice little features around you, like the paper. Of course, you can't do anything around here anyway. It's just a nice set piece. Just Hello, welcome. Horizon. Welcome to Green Circle Habitation, Orison. And then you've got the ability to get outside as well, again, through the front main entrance, I suppose. Got some drop units as well. Um, pretty good, I suppose, if you're going to do some pick-up and drop-off missions. Deliver it here, pick it up here, take it there, uh, which do sort of appear... Uh, in your Moby glass. A nice rock, again, their fascination with rocks in the middle. And if you go up, you can get to the spur. Now, the spur, and people, well, this lot, uh, Star Sitten's version of a spur, is, is not what I typically think a spur should be. I mean, all right, you, you've got a, a sort of like a, a pool shape, a pool size there. It's not very deep. You know, here we are, we're in it. Um, you know, uh, you get a nice effect from being under the water. It's quite a nice shimmering effect. I think that's great. I mean, this camera is fantastic. Um, quite simplistic, I think, you know, um, in regards to a lot of cameras that are out there. But I think it works. You know, and that's a really good effect. But, you know, it's, it's hardly what you call You're not going to do your Olympic lengths in there, are you? Um, so, let's go. Again, we've got some locked doors over here. We can get through those. Another stairway down to the lobby area. And then over here, we've got what they call their fitness areas. Yes, folks, you've got your Reebok step. 
You've got your yoga mats. You've got your stepper. All pneumatic by the look of it. Uh, and you've got your running machines. These don't actually do anything, but I suppose it's a good placeholder as well. I was talking on a live stream uh, the other day when I, I first had a look at, uh, at Orison. And it would be good, you know, that if in the game, in the future, that if you went to the spa and you did some time um, running, doing your Reebok step, you would get certain, I don't know, advantageous bonuses. I think that would be a good aspect, make it a bit more, you know, worthwhile spending the time and putting all this detail into, into the game. And over here, we've got a bit of boxer size going on. We've got um, your fitness benches, a skipping rope. You can't at the moment pick any of this up. But what you can do is you can sit on a bench. Well, there you go, folks. I'm exhausted already. You know, but hey, there you go. Um, a nice place to be. green circle a really nice place to be um, but when you get outside that's when Orison really does start to shine right so enough of all that I came over here I thought hmm what can we do here nothing anyway moving on back out through the door Open. Get down the stairs. Past all the trees. And let's get out and about. So there's the habitation elevators we came into came into. Either side of those you've got an exit. To the rear of the building. I mean it doesn't make, make much difference. A bit of exploration's a bit of exploration. And there you go, we're out. Straight in front of us, you've got the um, the air shuttles to take you to different parts um, of Orison. And again, you've got all the petals coming off the Japanese cherry blossoms. People sat on benches. Um, some of the areas are not open yet. You've got all these display panels here with maps of, of where, where things are. Which is good stuff. So, you know, I'm on Cloud View. I'm at Cloud View Center. That's where I am. Uh, Providence Platform. And you've got the Spaceport as well. So let's have a run down here. There's a nice effect here with a glass bridge. Um, which, if you've got vertigo and if this was real life, you, I'm not sure if you would sort of like be stood on this and, and sort of jump in. You know, it's one of those things. They did one over the Grand Canyon, didn't they? And... Um, it kind of was what it was. Yeah, my hair seems to be changing colour all the time. So, anyway, let's have a good look. Let's get ourselves over here. Again, lots of information panels. Nothing else really to see here. A couple of rock lights. Uh, and all this really does come alive at night. You know, um... We've got a bit here, all this information panels, all the lore, all the story that you can read. It's quite clear as well. Um, if we go to back into F4 mode, I mean, there's the actual, the text that you can have a good look at. Nice model of a ship. And I'm not really up on the ships. I don't know what that is, but it's going to be a crusader ship of something. And you can see coming soon, written all over the doors. Big burly security guard there, not come near here. Um, but I'm here, you know, I, I'm here, but no one's gonna let you in. Um, he looks absolutely bored off his box. Again, you know, more Crusader ships and information screens about Orison. So we're moving on and running down the road. We've got another, another player here. Down the gantry. Again, nice hanging baskets. I mean, just it's, it's great just sometimes just to take a look, take a beat, 
and just have a look around as opposed to rushing around. And that's what I think Orison's all about. You can tell they've obviously put a hell of a lot of work into the detail here. And for the most of it, it's really good. I mean, I say for the most of it. I mean, I had some problems yesterday. That was more down, I think, to PC configuration style citizen configuration as opposed to the game itself. It seems quite stable. Uh, clipping seems to be good as well. I haven't fallen through anything yet, uh, which is a bonus. Other side of the... Um, spaceway that'll take you to um, Providence, I think. Whereas the other side over here takes you to the, um, the spaceport. To get over the other side of the platform, I mean, there's this walkway here, and you've got all these lovely sculptures. Again, you've got the glass bridge. Um, you know, it really is good. You've got the hospital area, as depicted with a nice blue sign and a cross on it. Um, you know, it's good stuff. It's good stuff. It's, it's very nice. It's very swishly done. People going about their business. Um, they'll say hello to you as well, which I think is really good. Um, I mean, it's a little maintenance section down here. Uh, and, and we'll go down there. Get a bit of a sprint on. All right, so we've got a bit of forklift going on. Um... You know, there's, there's these areas with the trees, which again, which when, when lit up, you can run down here. And have a good explore. But you really are just behind the back of the building and away you go. And I'm not entirely sure they intended people to be up there. I'm on the grass. Uh, stay off the grass. Um, so let's get back to where we were and there's a little gantry there that takes you down to a maintenance area the underbelly of the city um which i think is you know quite a good idea It'd be a good aspect once this opens up but you are met with a locked door everybody but you know it it gives more scope i mean you missions underneath the city um which i think is a good idea So, so here we go. Back into first person mode. It's the side of the hospital. Let's get ourselves back round. Now there's all trendy shops and bars and what have you there. And we'll come to that now. Here's the, the medical facility. Again, Orison is absolutely everywhere. Uh, you've got your hand sanitizers. Uh, unfortunately, you can't use those. Uh, nice sliding door. We've got our receptionists in typical sort of like hospital blue. Not much to do here. I mean, there is one of these walkers. You can get on there, you can use the walker uh, and scoot yourself around. Um, we've got a hospital bed here as well. Um, you can't do anything with that though, unfortunately. But interesting to see how hospital beds don't really change that much in the future. It'd be a bit more technical, wouldn't you? You know, it's, it's hospital beds, a hospital bed. And here we've got a pharmacy as well, uh, where you can buy your oxygen pens and your med pens from the, the items as are displayed. So this is insurance. Again, nothing really here. You can't go in there, can't do anything. Um, I mean, there's a case, lots of stuff laying about, but there's no one at home. You can't go through the doors. And then you've got D block and you can see, you know, wheelchairs and stuff again. I mean, even Professor Xavier's wheelchair was better than that. Uh, I expected a little bit more futurism in regards to this aspect of things, but you know, typically the design's okay. Um, we've got a emergency elevator here, but when you go in, I mean, the panel's dead. And we've got appointments only, just like you see at the doctors, uh, and then, but you can't, you can't do anything with it at this time in the game. Can't go into the restrooms either. So all you people who enjoy tour touring toilets and making videos on them, unfortunately, uh, you can't go in there at the moment. Little carts with oxygens on as well. So it was that level um, of the, the hospital. I haven't been able to find a way up at the moment. I mean, these, these elevators here, um, 
you know, they're locked, you can't go up. I'm assuming those are elevators or or areas. The emergency signs here again, nothing here to really see. So we'll move on, on our tour of Orison. So far so good, no crashing, very impressed. So on this side of um, Cloudview, we've also got um, Stratus. Now there's, you've got your restaurants and your bars and your shops in here. And I thought this was a really good. So here we are, it's Trade and Development, the Trade and Development Division. Uh, going in here, you get a very say, so similar experience um, to what you get in the other areas. It's very plush, however. Uh, you've got your trade kiosks in here where you can do all your trading. Uh, very similar to what you get everywhere else in all the other stations. But you know you've got that lovely sort of like pinky red vista out there, that being in that city in the clouds within Orison. So we've seen all of that. I haven't really sort of like got to that part of the game where I'm trading stuff yet. So I don't feel qualified enough to comment on it. So I'm not going to. I'm not just going to waffle on for no apparent reason. Again, more information screens. And here we are into the Stratus Cloud View Center, uh, which is, you know, again, quite nice. You know, there you go. <clears throat> so let's get in. Open up. And look at that, look how busy that is. We've got a good effect with the water. And because I've deleted that user folder as well, I'm not getting any of those um, sort of like graphical problems. You can stand in the pond should you want to. Um, and then, you know, move around as is your will. You know, what's in here? Well, you've got lots of running water, you can see. Uh, underneath there, you've got your pebbles covered in glass, all nicely lit up. And it's as spectacular as this looks now, right? Uh, and these are on sort of like medium to high settings. I haven't turned everything on, even with my 3080. What I've found is that at night, it's even better. So let's take a look at what we've got around here. Again, lots of lovely bits of art and set pieces, the fill up space uh, in the area. You've got your, your outfitters, uh, Macau. Here we go, we're in here. Uh, and you can buy any sort of your, your trendy clothes that you want to be seen knocking about. Lots of dummies, you know, showing the look of the future. Um, and some very dubious shoes over here as well. You too can have green shoes should you want them. Right, and you've got your terminal sat there as well for your, for your clothing. And something that we've all probably missed, changing rooms to go and change on clothes as well, especially during COVID pandemics and what have you. So moving out of here uh, and then across the room, we've got um, what well, looks like you spelled Kelto. Kelto, little corner shop. They sell everything in here. You've got mints, you've got armor, you've got t-shirts, you've got the ability to buy beer uh, and what have you as well. A little bit of watermelon, melony melons. Uh, yeah, I'll confirm that purchase and I'll have a little bit of melon, thanks very much. Uh, even though now I've now got a chili bean burrito, which with your helmet off, you can you can have a good eating of that as well. Lots of stuff here. You got your sandwiches. Uh, what if you can pick up the sandwiches? Quick buy. What's it got me? Oh, I have actually got a sandwich. Um, this is going to be worthwhile, isn't it? <clears throat> Let's just zoom around here. There you are. Sandy having a sandwich. I think it really is. Um, om nom 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 nom. And you can buy beer and you can buy your cuddly toys, uh, your armor, your popcorn, nachos, all that sort of stuff as well. You can buy from this area uh, and consume it to keep your energy levels and your hydration levels up as well. We've got the dude behind the desk. Even in the future, they've not embraced the Amazon personless shop. Um, 
So, along with your cuddly toys, your mints, your nachos, uh, your tuna sandwich, you've also got your automatic weapons as well. Okay, so, that was that. Uh, we've got another observation deck on this level. Here it is. Again, you have a good sit around, contemplate throwing yourself off, whatever you want to do, or just watch, you know, the set pieces of the world go by. Uh, again, nice place to be. Uh, a really nice place to be. And this, I think, is quite busy. And when I, and when I mean busy, I say it's, it's something good to look at. It's something really good to look at. Uh, and I think, you know, it, it's, it's well worth spending some time coming here, having a look, having a mess around, you know, and just, just going through it all. Just going through and having a look. Now you've got a lift in the middle, or you can, you can access the upper level by the stairs that we have here. We're going to go up in the lift because it's, it's glass. Um, and those doors are actually closed, but they're so clear and clean, which makes a change. So we're going to call the elevator. Here it is. Here we are in the middle. We've got our control panel in the middle of the room. We're going to go to the Voyager bar. And here we are in the Voyager bar. And it kind of is what it is, you know. Um, let's get out of here. Can I get out of here? Can I get out? Where's the door? There's the door. Can I get through it? No, the door is closed. Can I open the door from the panel in the center? Have I missed my opportunity? I think I might have. Doors. There you go, I'm out now. And you've got a nice bar. These, I mean, these cherry trees are everywhere. Japanese cherry blossoms are everywhere. Um, what I think is good, sometimes people are here, some people, sometimes people are not. Nice to see that cigars are not outlawed, outlawed in, the, in the future, but I haven't been able to pick any of them up. Glasses and fruiting glasses all left around. Uh, you've got your bartender. I think you muttered something then. Um, but there you go. And you get to have a good look around the bar. Other patrons around, having a nose about. Going about their business. But I think it generally is, you know, it's a nice place to be. But again, it's window dressing. At the moment, at this time of the game, it serves no purpose. Down this side, it's already got more sort of outside bars. People with silly hats on. Um, and outside... It's quite good. You've got a fire pit, which does showcase again some of the technology they've got going on. You know, there's no frame slow down by going next to the fire. You know, the fire's there. It's doing its thing. Um, people are enjoying it. Buckets of, of champagne over there. And you've got these nice lights, which really do illuminate the place up at night. So that was the upper level of the Stratus Center. Now, you can either go back downstairs um, via the lift. Let's have a look at this. Have got, can we have the... Can open the door, please? Yes. We're going in. Um, and let's get to the ground floor again. Because in between, if you look at the lift as well, right, as we go to the ground floor, there's a nice fish tank. I've stayed in a few hotels with that sort of thing as well, when I've been out and about with work. That's a good little feature. But there's a sort of a mid-level uh, that you can get to via these stairs. Which is also quite nice. And on this, this mid-level, you've got a couple of restaurants. You've got, um, you know, the whammers sort of like burger joint. You can buy your burgers. We've seen them at the places. Uh, over this side, you've got security and you've got the Stratus now recruiting, but you can't, at this time of the, time of the game, you can't go in there. So yeah, that's, 
That's the Stratus Center. Uh, a couple of locked doors as well. They sort of allude to further things in the game you could possibly have. They keep collapsing and crashing things if you haven't quite got your camera angle right. Let's get out of there. Oh, I'm in the water features. And, and out. So, what we got left to have a look at, really, is some of the sculptures and stuff like that. And it's this nice sort of fountain effect. A little bit of disappearing people in and out. Um, whatever that is, is very nice. It's very nicely done. You've got all like, the oxidization of the metal on it. Whether that's bronze or something. Um... And you've got the gardens, and this nice big sort of swirling swirl. I've managed to get up quite far on that over there. If we go over here, cross through, breaking loads of laws, through the lily pads, through the fountains. Um, I've managed to get up here uh, and walk right to the top of that. Here we go. Way we're up. Uh, but if you look... You get so far and then you start to sort of like sink into it but you could typically throw yourself off there i am falling back down as well i don't know what's going on here um oh dear i really am indeed stuck this didn't happen the last time i did it uh let's have a look at the camera what's going on am i still stuck can I do anything? I, I really can't do anything. And I'm probably going to fall off the map as I do. But fortunately, I got to the bottom. I've been a very silly person. And, and here I am, where I'm in a position to, I think, walk around, turn around, uh, and get back on with my life. But you've got to try these things out, right? You know, I mean, it's a bit of an experimentation. That's the good thing about it. But a nice garden. So that concludes the sort of like um, this particular area. Now we've got Discovery Tours here uh, coming soon where you've got your entry and exit point. Because the whole idea of this, it started off as a shipyard and then became a, like the number one plush tourist destination as, as per the law. Not the law, I should say. The story of the game. So... Good stuff. We're going to get ourselves now to the next area. And we'll go to the shipyard. The Providence platform, um, as you're going down this way on the left. And over here on the right, you've got uh, the transit then to shipyards and things like that. And there is the shuttle. Look at that. Excellent timing. We're in and another commander there as well. So we can go over here, Horace and Skyways, and enjoy the view as, as this shuttle takes us towards the spaceport. Now you can sit in these chairs should you want to. Again, my hair has changed color, which is great. I'm having a good look around. Um, you know, you do get that huge sense of scale that you don't get on other games. And I thought, hey, you know, it's really good. And yes, I have had a few problems. I mean, as I was doing this video, and I'm using Streamlabs OBS to record the footage, to impose the cameras and all the rest of it on anyway, beside the point, I've had a couple of hangs. Uh, whether that's for the duration or for the size of the file um, I've been recording or not, I don't know. But either way, I have had a few problems. So I've had to use um, Control Alt Delete to get to Task Manager and then reset the game. And in some cases, it's hung the entire computer. Now I have um, set my page file to three times the amount of RAM, so that's quite a bit because I've got 64 gigabyte of RAM in it. Um, so there's a few more tweaks to do as well. I'm sure the community, if anyone watches this, uh, will be able to let me know 
where I'm going wrong and any other particular fixes. Deleting the user folders as well, I've also done. So here we are with the spaceport. You've got lots of these ships on display. Uh, Hercules Starlifter. Uh, and then over here, I think that's the um, Star Runner, is it? It's a Star Runner. Quite like that ship, I think. Once I progress from my Aurora, that's the ship I'm going to be getting. Again, nice observation port and view outside. The city in the clouds, everybody. That's what it's all about. Things going about their business. Big barges flying around. All the shuttles going here, there and everywhere. It's floating about. Okay, so down here we got, you know, tourist platforms. Uh, the shuttle to the cloud view centre. Again, you've got all the details on the particular ships. And then you've got elevators to where you would want to go. Um, so this is the spaceport. Call the elevator. Let's see where it's going to take us. Nice blue elevator this time. Is something happening? Right. Yes, it is. Here we are in the elevator. Oh, someone's coming with me. Um, let's go to the... I don't know. Spaceport. Hello. Anyway. He's probably thinking, Oh my god, where did you get that swanky armor, Ricardo? And I'll say, well, I bought it, my good man. Um, here we are, we're out. So, we've got the aspect here, a typical spaceport. Uh, we'll just have a quick look around. Again, it's all sort of like cherry blossoms. You've got your scanners. Uh, where you can pay your fines. And kind of here we are. you got your travel. And the section of the hangar. You've got your trendy gift stores. Um, you've got your access to the skyway again you've got more sort of restaurants to come in and cave into your craving which i think is great and we've got an elroy's very similar to what we had in the other areas spending machines you know some locked doors again alluding to what could be the restrooms they're locked so if you need to go either make a purchase i'm joking they're locked you can't um, and you've got the aspects of come back soon as well. And here, and I've been wondering where those were, here are the portals to call your ship the vehicle, sort of like retrieval aspect of things. Now I did just experience another freeze for the game as well. Uh, I don't know whether what that's all about. Again, I got past all that because I did a little control alt delete alt tab and it got me out. But then, you know, taking these elevators take you down to your ship, but I'm nowhere near ready to go and do that yet. So moving back out, we're going to go um, back to the, the elevators. Another good look at the vistas over there as well. Over to the transits, transit areas. Past the luggage lockers, the nice lit plants. To the elevators. To this one over here. What are we doing? F. Elevator called. Here we go. We'll go to the shuttle station and then to the last stop on our tour of Orison in our Discover Orison video and whatever we've been doing today uh, is going to be, I think it's Providence Center or Providence Platform. We'll go and take a look at that. So here we are, we're out. Um, Providence Platform, there it is. That one over there takes us to Cloud View. Providence is what we're after. We're just going to wait here for it. And they're quite quick, these shuttles. And one has appeared. Uh, so let's get in and get on. 
Here we go, and we're in. Stands at the front as if we're driving, I think. On our way now to Providence Center. So it takes about 15 seconds, it all sort of kicks in, gets its act together. Um, only me on this tram so far. All those barges out the window going about their business and into Providence platform. Here we go. We're coming up to the area. It's, it's skirting the side of the platform, which is quite good. There's the docking area. You can see it just above. Again, another freeze, whether that's... I think it's having a moment. Loading a lot of stuff in. So I just had a resyncing message then. I don't really know what that means, but it seems that I've missed my platform. So I've got to go all the way back round again. And that's what I mean about these games sort of like freezing and hanging. Um. Bit of a shame, really. I'm hoping it'll go round the other side so I can get back off. But it does give, I suppose, glass half full aspect of things. Good sort of like view of Providence. But here we are, we're back at, this is cloud view, this is where we started off. So I think if we sort of like stay where we are, or if we get out, run across the way, we can get back on the other side. But this is how it happens. This, this is this is real life gameplay. I'm not sugarcoating it or editing it all up for you. Um, this is just kind of how it is. Warts and all. As spectacular as the graphics are, um, there is this this lag and this and it's doing it again. This this sinking problem. So I'll just wait here for the next one. Here it comes straight away. So at least you're not waiting too long for that sort of thing to happen. Um, and all I'm trying to do is get the Providence platform. Uh, is it gonna open? Oh, here we go. Now it's doing it. Right. Let's try that again. I think we'll sit down this time. This could be a bit laborious. Please clear the hatch. Shuttle will be departing. I sit. Can I sit? Can I sit down? I want to sit down. I'm sitting down. I'm sitting down. I'm sitting down. I'm sitting down. Somebody else looking out the window. Again, we can have a good look around. As its thing. Nice lighting effects, like on the, the metal bar going around, um, just by the, the green medical kit where the other commander is, is standing. Nice little bits of reflection. I quite like the idea of that. Let's see if we can actually get off. I've been trying to get here for about, I don't know, a couple of hours, and I still keep getting this, this sort of like this stuttering effect. Whether everybody's, perhaps everybody's here on the server or not, I don't know. Uh, even more configuration aspect of things. Last call for passengers. The shuttle is preparing to depart. Right, here we go. 
and, and here we are, I think, uh, Providence Industrial Platform. We're actually here. Um, frames per second, they just dropped off. Dropped off the planet. I mean, you know, it's it's juddery, it's jerky. What have we got here? We've got a Crusader Discovery Center. Okay. Um, again, you can buy your, your cuddly toys. There's little versions of the ship uh, you can get over here. But you can see how, how jerky and juddery this now is. Um, for some reason, quite a lot of... All, that, all that's going on, like. Uh, don't know. Don't know what that is. Things seem to have all scummed up graphically. Now we've got some frames per second back. Um, we've got the nice lady behind there in a Crusader attire, which you can all buy as well. You've got your suites, you've got your spaceships. I think it might have just been a case of loading all that stuff in. And then you can sort of like get in uh, and watch all the Crusader sort of like propaganda as well. All that stuff that was released on the website introducing Orison to all the Star Citizen players. Let's have a quick nose down there. I noticed that some people are sort of like milling around down the side of things and there's, there seems to be an access bridge. Again, we've got, what's this down here? We've got um, Cousin Crows, Escape Pods. All right, aye aye. Let's take a look down here. Again, this is the sort of dark underbelly. You're, you're lat latting, lacking that's the shine and finesse uh, that you have from upstairs. It's now gone down to sheer functionality and escape pods. Um, is that an escape pod? Could be. Looks big. Looks pod-like, doesn't it? Lots of wafty smoke wafting around. An escape pod, right? What's this then? Can we, can we go in an escape? Apparently not. If things go horribly wrong, get to the escape pods. Get to the chopper. Uh, and you've got quite a few of those. But I'm not even sure, sure exactly what that is. Is that the escape pod? Is that the escape pod? I'm going to go with that being the escape pod. Because the arrow says escape pod to there. So I think that's where we are with that. What we got here? Cargo and freight center. So let's just pop up here and have a note. Again, so completely different color palette. Though you still get that nice sort of like pinky glow of, of outside, but you can tell it's not as swish. It's more functional. Um, let me pause this here then. We've got a panel. Mm, very good. And we've got different requests. We need to go on missions. I think. I think I've just actually, um, I just accepted something for some reason. Again, panels around, and here we are. We're in the cargo bay and cargo area. Looks very busy, you know, uh, as what you'd expect from a cargo area. Lots of like forklift trucks, that sort of thing, uh, kind of wafting around. You've got again another store with more sort of like functional gear and armor and backpacks and stuff. You've got a lot to do, so why not look good doing it? Oh, they've got some catchy, some catchy sidelines. I'm the CEO of space, very good for him. Um, and then we've got our shipping area, you've got your shipping box over there as well. That's Kovalex. Let's go and have a look. Where can we go? What can we do? That's taken us to a certain level. What's this? The Network Gateway Hub. Okay. Here we go. Again, very industrial. Very sort of, um, you know, honed in functionality. But these big spires, rem reminiscent of Rogue One, when they're up there on the platform. Reminiscent again of, you know, Bespin. They've got this sort of their, their areas, the weather vanes. We can probably get ourselves down there as well, though. You know, it's probably a mission attached to all that. And there's a ladder. Look. So, as we, as we 
Oh, we're going down. Now we're going down. We're going down. We're going down. We're going down. It's a long way down. And here we are. We're at the bottom uh, of Providence Center. And you've got Cloud View Center. Spaceport over there. You've got the shuttles going. There's some guy I've got to go and pick up. I don't want any incoming calls. Um, but yeah, how, how Rogue One and Star Wars Empire Strikes Back is this. You can just imagine yourself hanging off that weather vane. Luke Skywalker sort of style with your hand flopping down. You know, ah, no, you're not my father. That sort of thing. So yeah, good. Lots of panels and things you can possibly tinker with. Um, where's my ladder? There it is. I want to get back on the ladder now. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Back up the ladder. Definitely, they've been channeling um, their love for, you know, popular sci-fi as well. So, yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. So let's get back over to here. Transit center. We've had a good nose. And back, you're back sort of like to the nice swish civilization. But there's a transition, right? From all the sort of like industrial side of it to where, you know, all the travelers come to have a good nose about. Again, I'm getting a bit of lag, a bit of slowdown. I'm just going to give it a minute. The next shuttle is approaching the station. There's a lot happening. This is at 2K. Can I move? The shuttle is preparing to depart. People are changing genders. Um, I think we might have kicked that back into into action. Uh, we've got the ability to go up here and you're going to Orson Municipal Services. Again, very industrialized. Uh, here we are. Okay, so I'm still getting pinged by this CEO of space. As we go in here, we've got Orison Municipal Services. We've got trading and shipping right by here. And I've had a couple of server sync issues, but that could be the fact that everybody is on it. Everybody's doing stuff. I'm probably logged onto the, the, the EU servers as well, so people are sort of waking up, doing their things. Uh, lots of people just staring at blocked doors, all that sort of thing as well. And again, we're down to where the industrial section of things are over here back into the cargo hold. Again, we've got our Kovalax that we, we skimmed past recently. Frames per second seem to have picked up a little bit. Um, back down through the, the network gateway, past the, the best bin cloud veins, or whatever they are. Uh, straight out of Star Wars. So I've kind of so given up now with uh, Streamlabs OBS and I've gone to using my NVIDIA 3080 graphics card internal option of screen recording. So in regards to this, I'm not getting any stuttering. Uh, I think some of the information uh, was being lost in regards to the frame rate as also doing all the stuff with XSplit and with, uh, uh, with Streamlabs. Uh, and I've, I've rebooted the game, rebooted the machine and here I am. So continuing on with our tour, we're underneath the underbelly now. Um, this is an, an authorised section. Can't get through there. Got to have the ID uh, to get me through this one particular area. And from the other parts we've seen of this industrial section uh, of Orison, you know, it's a bit cleaner. 
the, the light is starting to change, the colour palette is starting to change, we're getting that nice sort of like, as, as we saw it in Star Wars, and I've said it before, I'll say it again, you know, that cloud city type of glow, you know, it really is starting to stand out uh, and look fantastic. Great, even at 2K with uh, sort of medium graphics turned on to try and get the frame rate up, you're getting some good reflections even on the armor and on the shiny surfaces as well. I'm really liking this, really, really liking this. So if you're still with me then, thank you very much. Uh, we're moving back into the Dis Crusader Discovery Center which we briefly had a look at and some stuttering earlier on. We've got all this swanky stuff Again, nice big windows. We've got a lovely great big Hercules outside being built, perhaps uh, being repaired. You know, these are shipyards, but you get a sense of the scale again of you know how big these ships are and the scale of Star Citizen and, and Orison City. All these little things add to the ambience. I think they all add to the you know the, the way things are. Um, you get that feeling of being part of something bigger inside it. I think I think it's great. All different viewports to give you different views of the same sort of thing. Again, moving back to the shop and part of the toy ships. Some of the things you can buy, some of the things you can't. Um, with the light changing and the color palette changing now, as I've mentioned, uh, we're going to get back onto one of the shuttles and see what cloud view is going to look like. I just missed one, but typically. Just missing one just means, you know, a 10 to 15 second wait while you look around at this feature rich environment before another shuttle comes along. Before you know it, you turn around and then one will be there. Uh, it's, it's, quite, it's quite good like that. And here it comes, here it comes now. So it's scooting up, it's docking. And then the entire scenery changes because you've got very sort of like room Here we go. Uh, we're waiting for the, the gantry to unload. Last there we go, and we're moving in. The shuttle is preparing to depart. Now I'm gonna perhaps sit down for a bit. Why not? Please clear the hatch. Drinking shuttle all that morning. atmosphere of the ride. Now the next stop is gonna be the spaceport, which I don't really want to be. I'll just continue on round on its loop circuit so that um, I get to cloud view. But it does give you the option, like I say, to have a look as the the lighting is changing at uh, what's going on in regards to the environment. Again, the sky is changing. And now you're getting sort of that very sort of silhouette sort of aspect of things. The detail is dropping down as the light is changing around the, the platforms, you know, the, the barges that are moving back and forth as well. All this, again, is, is adding to a, a good aspect of exploring a city in the clouds. So here we are, we're coming up on the spaceport now. Now we're, we're going to stay here. We're not going to. We're not going to get off here. There's nothing else really to see. I mean, I don't want to go to my ship yet. Approaching next station. If this is your stop, please prepare to disembark. This is the tram to Cloudview Center. Bit of a lack of people. Heaven help what the server and ping rate's going to be like when more people start coming on to this kind of. Um, the solution hatch. where you can imagine thousands of people being in different starboards and how that's going to slow it down. I mean, as it stands at the moment, it's playable. It's playable now. I've had, since I'm using the graphics card and not uh, Streamlabs OBS to record, I've been okay with it. So here we go. Again, it's getting darker and darker. The airborne shuttle is now starting to turn around and bank. And you can get an idea of the size of this, this sort of like planetary city in the clouds as you're moving around. Here we are, we're coming up on it. Sort of like a you can see scale. all in the distance. You've got landing lights on those sort of like Empire Strikes Back veins, sort of like hanging down. You know, and, and I think the dev team have definitely channeled sort of like Cloud City. For this and I think that's really good so as you're walking around oh my god you know they've channeled that from Star Wars I think that's great so here we are see it's getting darker all the um, sort of like the puddle lights 
are starting to illuminate different areas. And you, as you come in, you'll see around the trees, you get that great effect of there being fireflies buzzing around the trees, which I think is fantastic. Not only have you got the falling petals um, off the Japanese cherry blossoms as well, you've also got these fireflies that you wouldn't have seen. You wouldn't have seen these during the day, but you've got that that whole sort of firefly aspect as well around the trees now at night time sort of giving that extra bit of ambience as well and you know it looked impressive before in the daytime I think it looks equally if not more impressive at night time with all the the mood lighting you know the lights on the steps the reflections it really does look good and I can say so far the game hasn't fallen over. So it might have been just the fact that it was very resource hungry, so is Streamlabs, so is a bit of XSplit as well, even though I'm using my onboard graphics for the XSplit camera. Um, that was pretty fine, but again, Streamlabs recording this at 1440, it might have just been too much for it. Even though I had increased the page file um, to about 180 gig, given the fact that I've got uh, 64 gig on board. And there you go, this is coming to the end of our Orison, Discover Orison tour. And uh, thank you very much for sticking with me. As we move past some of the, the set pieces and the, the statues and all of that, I think you can all see that, you know, it does look really impressive at night time. Anyway, I've been Ricardo and this has been my Discover Orison of Star Citizen tour. Uh, it's just been released. This is August of 2021, early August of 2021, and yeah, I think it's got a bit of work to do, a little bit of um, optimization, but that's Star Citizen. It's flagged as an alpha, and it should be treated as one as well. So, like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Um, if we stream on a Saturday and Sunday, typically Star Citizen and, or any other game, and Elite Dangerous slash Elite Dangerous Odyssey on Sunday afternoons, sort of like GMT time. So hit that notification bell and you'll get notified when we're streaming via Twitch, Facebook and YouTube. So thanks for sticking with me and thanks for going on this sort of like whistle stop tour of Orison, the city in the clouds of Star Citizen. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you soon. So thank you very much.